So, welcome back. My name is MSC Havoc from advancedfx.org and now in the second part I want to show you how you can create a camera in Cinema 4D and uh, that's not really a creation, it's more like a, we modificate our normal capture it camera from source and uh, modify, modify that in Cinema 4D and then exporting that to Half-Life Advanced Effects for using in Counter-Strike Source. So we captured our camera and from the previous tutorial that is our cam file. So first I have to <coughs> first I have to import that camera and therefore we have uh, a lot of plugins as you see and we need first that Half-Life Cam to Cinema 4D plugin. Download and unpack in your plugin folder from Cinema 4D. And uh, later we use that Cinema 4D to Half-Life Cam. Uh, also the export for the camera for Half-Life Advanced Effects. So I did that and that's my plugin. And click on it. Don't uh, check 90 degree fix, that is important for um, Counter-Strike 1.6 or Half-Life 1 engine for the BSP viewer and we use another um, map exporter so don't check that, let that default and the rest we can also let that so open and now I change into my path and uh, that's my cam file click on open and OK and now that's our cam. So if we move into our cam, we don't really see the animation. We see a little bit moving, but we don't really see our map and can easy modify that camera. So therefore, I will import the Counter-Strike source map in Cinema 4D. And that's very easy. Just download NEMS Tools Crafty. Uh, download, install, and then you have it um, like me called Object Viewer. <coughs> and first, we have to set up the options, and there you have to um, change to our Steam Pass, use the username for your Counter Strike um, Steam account so okay and also i have counter source profile and then we can go into our file system browser and there it is the counter strike source shared gcf if you don't have that one you can also open that by file open package and then select the counter strike source shared gcf so into the GCF we have C strike and also maps and we have to need dust 2. So enter or double click and that's our map. We see also textured and we can also change the mode for example to textured so it looks more normal like Counter-Strike source and anyway we have to export that so file export and now select a folder on your computer I have CSS and we call that DAS2 so click on save and that needs a little bit of time and that's it. And now we can in Cinema 4D file import or merge in the English one. And now we have, I'm in the right folder, in the dust2 object. So open. And that's our dust2. And first I have to select all the mesh objects and also hold shift for selecting all and alt g to group 
and renaming that for uh, dust 2 so that's our map and as you see it's a little bit of vertical uh, but it doesn't matter so as we also recognized that one is untextured first i have to turn on the global illumination of course so that one is untextured but we have a lot of materials here and they are also used by the different objects so to texture that i will only show that because i don't really need that now for the tutorial but you can of course also use by changing the texture also adding that one and you see material 148 and also select that one as the last and no and now that one is textured and you have to do that with all the materials but in that tutorial it doesn't matter we only want to create the camera so now if we move in our camera we see uh, that one looks like in Counter-Strike Source and now for modifying that I will create a second camera and uh, that one I will call CSS Cam and as you recognized we have the same position if we created that from that point of view and now if I go outside of the camera you see same position but if I move the cam you see um, our new cam doesn't move and now I have to create an express attack that the positions from our imported cam are the same from our Counter-Strike Source Cam. So that's very easy. Right click and express attacks. Now drag and drop our new cam and also the old cam inside that Expresso editor. And now on the red bottom, red cube or whatever, <laughs> just use global matrix and now draw a line to the blue one and use also global matrix. So our camera is following the old one so now we can set up our keyframes so go to the start click our camera and make a keyframe now go to the end and therefore uh, I use yes 763 and also make a keyframe so if we now deactivate our express attack so it doesn't follow our cam we have an smoothed animation as you see the red one is uh, yes a little bit slower and it's not the same position we can also move into our cam and you see that but it doesn't look very good because we are flying through that walls and we have to fix that and therefore I will also change a little bit of that movement so we go upside and also something like that and I think that looks good so make a keyframe I also will go outside for rotating our cam a little bit so I think that could look really good so go forward and also move a little bit upside and keyframe it outside of our camera it's easier for rotating and now rotate that a little bit also move a little bit upwards or rotate it upwards and keyframe so I think it could look good so that's our camera and we have to fix that one here move down and keyframe so I think that looks good as you see really easy for creating a really smooth cam and now the next step is we have to export that CSS cam so very easy use the plugin as I showed 